Let's bring in our national political correspondent, Steve Kornacki, break it down. Let's start with the state of the race from a national perspective as we head into this final stretch. Yeah, here we go, Savannah. So this is the average of all of the polls that are out there nationally right now. And you see Kamala Harris, the vice president, with a three-point lead over Donald Trump. Two ways to look at this. If you're a Democrat, obviously you're happy you're ahead. And it's an improvement from when Joe Biden was the candidate. He trailed Donald Trump all year. But if you're a Republican, you could take solace in this. This is not unfamiliar territory for Donald Trump. Labor Day 2020, he trailed Joe Biden by nine. He almost came back to win that race 2016. He trailed Hillary Clinton by five on Labor Day. He did come back to win. So Harris has a, actually it's a tighter national margin. But as we know, these elections are determined state by state in these battleground states. So let's look at the state of the race there. Yeah, let's go through now. Seven battleground states. You can memorize this list at home. We're going to talk about them <laughs> a lot between now and November. But the key here is that six of these seven states all went for Joe Biden in 2020. North Carolina, the only went for Trump. And you see right now the polling is tight in just about all of them. Trump ahead narrowly in Georgia, North Carolina, small. All Harris leads, except take a look here, like in Wisconsin, Harris on average leading by six. This is important to note. The polling was off in states like Wisconsin in 2020 and 2016. It underestimated Trump's support. Whether it does that again this time around, a major question. That made a huge difference, of course, in the in the result there. So let's do my favorite, Matt, the 270. Love to see how this can play out when you start switching how the battlegrounds go. Yeah, mine too. So we've got those seven states you just mentioned in gray here, the battleground states. Look, two perspectives here. If you're Harris, your most direct path is this. It's the call them the Great Lake states. Wisconsin, if you could win that, Michigan in Pennsylvania all went for Biden four years ago hold those and you see it right there Harris is at exactly 270 but here's the complication for her what if she slips up in one of these Pennsylvania she didn't pick that state's governor as a running mate some people wonder about that if she were to lose Pennsylvania it is the largest of these battleground states you could see her number comes down she would then need to win at least two from this Sun Belt here and meanwhile if Trump were to get Pennsylvania it opens up a, the simplest path for him Get Pennsylvania, hold North Carolina, which he won in 2020, and then just win back Georgia, which he narrowly lost, and he'd be at exactly 270.